Hey guys, the Sony FDRX 3000 R is one of my favorite action cam setups. It comes with the action camera and the remote. One challenge though is when you're using both of them together, let's say you're holding them like this, is you're locked into using two hands to make your video. So you're watching with this hand and move, maneuvering with this hand to aim the camera where you want it. So there is an accessory that Sony sells and that is the AKA FGP-1. Now what this is, is a finger grip that lets you put the camera in it and lets the remote sit on top right here. And it comes with a lanyard and a lens cap. So let's check it out. All right, so here's the front of the bag here. And here's the back. Let's go ahead and get this open. comes with manuals and information in multiple languages. Here's the lens cap, depending on which Sony camera you have. This is the larger lens cap, which you'll need for the X3000. It's on like that. It's nice and rubbery. Then it comes with a mini lanyard right here. Let's take a look at the finger grip. Let's take this protection off. So here we have it right here. It's got a hole for your finger to go in. You can see it goes in like this. And then down here, there's a locking mechanism. So to take it out, you just pull it down like that and it'll slide right out. So you're going to want to put it in, lock it in place. Then your remote will go right here on top. So let's put that in. And it's popped into place. So now when you're making a video, you can use one hand, aim it where you need it. And when you need to look, you can see it. What's nice about this is it moves and swivels down so you can put it at whatever angle you need to so you can see. If you're needing to put the camera high up in the air, that won't be a problem. Or if you need to get down low, you can do it like that and you'll be able to see the screen, which is great. So here I am holding the grip. It feels nice in my hand. It's nice and secure. It's definitely not going to fall out as long as you hold it like this. You can aim this at whatever angle you want with your thumb. And I could turn on the camera if I want do that with the remote that is a feature of this remote you can see them pairing up and if I wanted to I could record I don't have a card in right now then I can also use these side buttons of course to zoom in and out which is nice All right, let's see how hard it is to take the remote off. Just pop this up and it comes right out. So that was pretty easy. Snap it back in, let's take it out one more time. Nice and easy. It's nice and secure though when it's in there. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. And you can see this will provide some protection if you drop it right here. And if you want more protection, you can, of course, add the lens protector that I covered in another video. Lock that on and now your camera should be pretty safe. Kind of like the GoPro Hero 5, now you can do all your recording with one hand, which is really nice. But you have the added benefit of being able to move the screen however you need it. Alright guys, so I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already and consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos that I'll be releasing. Now remember, I'll have a link to this and other items for this action camera in the description and down below. So be sure to look for that. I do get a few pennies on the dollar, which helps me out with making these videos and it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.